So first, I would like to thank each and every one of you guys for watching my channel and staying tuned. Um, the support is amazing. I literally grew from 40 subscribers to like almost 200 now. And I know that the people who are watching this now and I have reached beyond that point. I just want to say that you have witnessed a come up, okay? <laughs> so before we get started... Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I still hair. So, this is my silky straight, and I just, like, just, just, just washed it. So, it has, like, a little wave in it. Closer. It has, like, a wave in it. And, um, this is honestly the natural state of my silky straight hair. This is the wig that I had on, and I was showing you guys how I cut the lace off. And yeah, this is how it looks. Don't mind this part. This is like my cap, but you really can't tell, um, you know, far back like this. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, I'm making this video to talk about my shipping and how I do it. And a lot of people wanted to know like my process, and I just wanted to show you guys honestly. Um, me personally. I struggle a lot with, um, you know, keeping my profits within my business. Um, a lot of my profits in the beginning went towards shipping. And if you run a hair company and you sell hair, you know that shipping from China is not cheap. It's not cheap at all. It is really, I'm not going to say really expensive, but it, it is costly. It is. I would ship out, get the hair shipped to me every time somebody ordered from me. And say for instance, I had a I had an order every day from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They would have to ship it out all four of those days because I would return to them and talk to them um, at the end of the shipping day, telling them that you know I have a new order. Um, please send this, that, and the third to me. And Basically, I say the shipping fee for each order costs like $25 each. And I was sh getting it shipped to me four days straight out of the week. That's $100 straight off, straight off the bat. Like, I was, I was losing money while trying to bring in money also. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> I can't really make a profit if... All of my money is really going towards shit. The moral of the story is, I kept losing money when the goal was to bring in more income. You know, I started my business to bring in more income. So what I do now is I only have two set shipping days. My policy is if you order before 9 p.m. on Monday, your order will go out that following Friday. If you order before 9 p.m. on Thursday, your order will go out that following Monday. So I only ship out, or I'm not, not Monday, I'm sorry, Tuesday. So I only ship out orders on Tuesday and Friday. And you know, so far it has been, it has saved me hundreds and thousands of dollars and you know that that's really just a smarter move once you start like selling your products and stuff whether it's hair um lashes clothes whatever you will just see that you need to work smarter and not harder and in the beginning i can admit that i was working harder instead of smarter you know now i'm moving much more much 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 more smarter you know um soon i will be able to put together a team and let them handle it but for now it's just me and I'm doing everything on my own and you know I just wanted to share that with you guys um don't burn yourself out because that's what I was doing in the beginning and I can admit that I was burning myself out and it was causing me to lose myself you know not knowing when to stop and when to you know start pushing forward so just keep that in the back of your mind work smarter not harder and it'll pay off in the long run. So let's get started with the whole point of the video. I um, I guess you can call this like a haul, a hair haul. <laughs> but my package just came with my shipment, my hair. And all of my orders come from um, FedEx Express. I rarely get anything from DHL. I do have one little trick that can help all entrepreneurs around the world. And just keep watching. My vendor does everything for me. Um, I'm gonna take this out so that you can see what I mean. So 
So this is my silky straight in a 14 inch. All I honestly have to do from this point, once I receive the package, the shipment is bag it in my custom bags, which I did hire somebody to make that for me. But like I said, they cut everything in half with the shipping and with the bundle wrap. So I put this in my satin bags, put it um, you know, put all my flyers and business cards inside the packaging, and then I would ship it off. Um, I do recommend co-washing the hair with conditioner only and let it naturally air dry. Do not blow dry. If you do blow dry, make sure that the settings are on cool. So how I keep up with my invoices, um, I have this little notebook and basically it lets me know which orders have been processed, which are in the works of being shipped to their you know, new owner and then those that are complete. So now I'm just going in my back office. And the host that I use for my website, I use WordPress. I found that WordPress is really beneficial to my hair company because it, it gives you the chance to first build your website up from the ground. Um, and then it's, it's just good to keep up with everything. Okay, so now that I have every invoice pulled up that I would like to ship out tomorrow, um, I'm going to print them out. So, I have this order. This order is a wig order, so I'm not really going to deal with it. I'm just going to put it to the side and also put the hair to the side. Believe it or not, I get a lot more wig orders than I do hair orders. And, you know, I'm not complaining because I love it. I really do. Um, and it also cuts the task in half. I just ship the wig order out. Um, the turnaround time for wig orders take about 14 business days. Sometimes sooner. It depends on how many customers I had at the moment. And also, I had a big homecoming sale. It's still going on. It ends October 13th. Once I've sorted all of the paperwork, I then um, start sorting the hair out. So these three 14s that you see that I showed you in the beginning, um, this is a wig order. So I'm just going to put it to the side so that I don't touch it. And I love how my vendor just packages everything for me. Like, look at this. Sugar Plums hair collection. And I just do it with every frontal closure, bundles. Like, I just love how they do that for me. Once you find you a good, reliable vendor, sis, stick with that vendor, okay? So this order, this order had 322 inch with an 18 inch closure bougie body wave. So I'm going to find my 322 and most of the time my vendor has everything like the same length all together. Now I'm not going to speak for your vendor but my vendor, they typically do everything for me and all I have to do is just ship it out. So these are my 322 of my body wave texture and she also had an 18 inch closure so here's the closure and I'm going to take all this out so you can see the textures but I just wanted to show you like what I do first and I just put that to the side So yeah, it's a slight day. Um, like I said, a lot of orders are wig orders, but this is what I have for my my regular hair, hair orders that need to be shipped out. 
So we're gonna take these out of the bag so you can see, and then I'm gonna rebag them. I like to inspect the hair before I just ship it out. Um, so that I know that the quality is A1, like I have, you know, already proven, but I want to make sure before I send it to my customers. What I look for in each order is synthetic fibers, any synthetic hairs, or you know, I just check and feel to make sure that the quality is up to par. Because once it's out of my hands, it's in my customers' hands, and my customers mean everything to me. You plum girls mean the world to me, so I have to make sure that quality is definitely um check before I ship it out. Um packaging from um it comes from United States Postal Service and you get a box full of padded envelopes like this i hope you can see it anyway you just put out a label um whether you do it on their official website or you're doing it on your website um through your back end or you can do it on paypal i do all of my shipping labels through paypal because they just makes it so much easier it shows where they pay for it and also if you were to ever get a dispute with that customer um they filed a dispute on you all you have to do is just pull up your tracking numbers and then pull up your store policies because if you're doing it through paypal and they pull the dispute through paypal as long as paypal sees that you ship that um package off it's fair game it's fair game literally so big box of shipping envelopes. I also keep the priority mail ones. And I always do padded envelopes because sometimes I put like my flat irons or um, say for instance, I drop a product line. But yeah, say for instance that happens, you want to make sure that your products are very protected um, so that once they get into the customer's hands, It'll be all in tech. You know what I'm saying? So, Petty is the way to go. I really don't like the um, regular um, shipping envelopes because it, sh it just looks boring to me. So, I put all of the orders together. So, now I'm just going to bag them. And these were the um, satin bags that I was talking about that I put my bundles and, you know, just packages in. So, it has my logo, Sugar Plums Hair Collection. And I do keep them in the plastic bags just to, you know, keep them fresh, um, not get frizzy, anything like that. So 
so now that I have everything bagged, um, I put my business cards. I have my Sugar Plums hair collection business cards. And on the back, I have my Leah Gabriella collection um, because I do make custom units. And I always put two just so they can, um, you know, like clash with each other just in case. Um, if they order hair this time, they may come back and order a wig. If they order a wig this time, they may come back and order more hair. So I just do that. Um, you know, for marketing purposes, basically. Now that I have my business cards with the packages, I do put one more flyer with the order, which is my hair care flyer. So this is the um, care, hair care flyer that I was referring to. And it basically says, thank you for your business. Here's your checklist, install, snap, and send. And also it has like a little notebook right here. It says maintaining your hair, always co-wash. Co-wash your hair at least once or twice a week. Squeeze out excess water. Um, just basically all of the healthcare, not healthcare, hair care tips that I can provide for each and every one of my customers. And it also has a little checklist, a cute little checklist um, so that they can install it and then send us pictures and we can post them on our page. So I just put this with each and every order. As you can see, I've already put the label on each petty envelope, and I'm just going to match each name on the order to the invoice order name. This is the invoice I send with each customer. It has um, what they ordered and also the shipping policies and as well as the return policies. So that is how I package my orders. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.